While swamp exploration might not be found on most people's bucket list, the Okefenokee Swamp should be the exception. Over 400,000 acres in size, the swamp is a richly diverse and strikingly beautiful ecosystem that straddles the Georgia-Florida border and is protected by the Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge and the Okefenokee Wilderness. Considered one of the seven natural wonders of Georgia, the swamp is a 7,000-year-old peat-filled bog that Native Americans inhabited as early as 2500 BC. It's home to countless birds, carnivorous plants, mammals, and reptiles. Most notably though, Okefenokee is known for its impressive population of American alligators. While most swamps are highly inaccessible, a series of misguided industrial adventures in the late 1800s and early 1900s resulted in the digging of a canal. This canal, along with the St. Mary's River and the Suwannee River, which both originate in the swamp, have helped create over 120 miles of water trails, and with them, one of the most incredible paddling destinations in the world. Paddle Tales is brought to you by Decathlon, NRS, Aquabound, Wiley X, and Outdoor Play. So the Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge is a huge piece of swampland and its surrounding forest. Okefenokee Adventures and Okefenokee Swamp Park have partnered with the Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge to provide a way for people like me, like you, to actually experience the swamp. So we're in the Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge, which is a 407,000 acre refuge managed by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Um, a lot of what we do is provide visitor services and educational services. We have a really robust environmental science education program, and we also lead folks on tours like this. It's a really unique refuge, probably the most visited refuge in the United States. 120 miles of water trails and wilderness platforms that you can camp on. Apply for a permit uh, through the National Wildlife Refuge, and then we'll guide you into the Okefenokee to have an extraordinary wilderness experience made it to the Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge. <sighs> I've been waiting for this for quite some time and I'm on a bit of a mission today to kick things off here. I'm hooking up with Dan and Kim from Okefenokee Adventures and we're going on a five and a half mile paddle to a day use platform in there. We're gonna have a good southern meal out there, get some energy back before paddling our way back home. And the other thing that I'm doing is I'm testing out the Decathlon Itawit X500 kayak. Now this is a kayak that I've wanted to test for a very long time. It's an inflatable sit-inside recreational kayak, or actually more of a touring kayak. I think this is going to be the perfect place to test this kayak, so let's get it pumped up and hit the water. I'm the executive director at Okefenokee Swamp Park and Okefenokee Adventures. We are the private visitation partner to the National Wildlife Refuge and U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. You know, we have a couple of um, components to our mission. It's uh, delivering educational opportunities and visitation opportunities that inspire conservation advocacy for the Okefenokee. So I first came into the Okefenokee with my children uh, on a camping trip. We love being in wilderness settings, being outside. It's a place of peace. It's absolutely a spiritual retreat for many. It is a place that really hasn't received the acknowledgement, the celebration of it being an incredible resource, that what follows that is, you know, preservation. And that's really the priority for our planet at the moment, is preserving these wild places 
in these wild spaces. So that's what brought me here. One of the reasons I was brought on was really to lift the organization, help it find relevancy, inspire investment, and work regionally to develop a natural resources economy in the Okefenokee. And so um, the Okefenokee Swamp Park, which we call the OSP, um, is leading the charge okay. on that work. Well, unfortunately for Kim, she had to make her way back home, but Dan and I, we've got nowhere to go but to Coffee Bay, which is around three miles ahead, and so it's time to get a move on. So we're paddling out today from the eastern entrance of the Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge, the Suwannee Canal National Recreation Area. And this is a massive area. The Okefenokee is almost 700 square miles altogether. And it encompasses a lot of different environments in that area, from the, the open prairies of the east side to the very dense cypress forest to the west side near Stephen C. Foster State Park. And, and over the course of the week, you're gonna get to visit a lot of these different communities and take that in. And this eastern side is really well known for the for the prairie areas and we access mostly through the Sewanee Canal. And this was a, a drainage project done actually trying to destroy the swamp in 1891 and to, to turn this into farmland and to, and to log this area. It's, it's had a really positive legacy on the east side of the swamp as our, as our access point here. And so we're gonna follow this out and visit some really beautiful areas. And in this eastern prairie area is, is without this water trail available to us, very, very shallow, very inaccessible to, to humans, that is, not yeah. to wildlife. The great thing about paddling in the Okefenokee uh, National Wildlife Refuge is that it's such an intimate experience. You're so close to everything because the waterways are so narrow. And with that, you see so much on shore, so much of the plant life, the bird life, the wildlife, everything is right there. And so paddling with someone like Dan, a naturalist who knows exactly what's going on, is really nice. One of the reasons people come to visit the Okefenokee is to come to see our American alligators. It's just an incredible experience to be able to paddle alongside our, our alligators here in the swamp. And it can be a little intimidating when you see a, a large 12-foot alligator basking near you or even in the water near your boat, but, but they, they never bother us. And if, if we give them space, you know, it's never going to be an issue. And it's just an incredible opportunity to get such a great close-up look at such a beautiful animal. And we'll see everything from them basking on the banks, trying to sun in the winter months to right now in their mating season, the males become very, very territorial. They're very visible. They're patrolling their territory on the surface and we get to see that behavior while we're out there paddling around. When you're paddling in a place with literally 10,000 plus gators, it's hard not to think, hmm, is this a good idea to be canoeing and kayaking water like this? The reality is, as long as you respect the gators, they're going to respect you. not expecting to find this <laughs> in the middle of the swamp. Six miles out. Looks like a pretty good spot for a meal to me. <laughs> oh, and tonight we got jambalaya with some Ooh. local fresh Georgia shrimp. Oh, nice. And some sausage made right here in Folkestone, Georgia from oh, Wainwright's. Nice. Twist my arm. <laughs> He wants some jambalaya too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's good. Mm. Cheers. What a day. Oh, Thank yeah. you. To a great day. Fresh Georgian shrimp right off the boat. What a perfect end to an incredible day. Well, <laughs> it's not the end though, because we still have five and a half miles to get back and so, I better eat up pretty quick. The sun is dropping and it's gonna take a while to, to get back home. But this is where our journey is ending. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, if you have, then give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to Paddle TV if you haven't already. And 
Uh, keep your eyes open. I'm going to be doing a full review of the Decathlon Idiot X500 kayak very soon. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that and stay tuned for more adventures from Okefenokee National Wildlife Refuge with Okefenokee uh, Adventures. We, we're going much deeper into the refuge over the next few days. The adventure continues.